Well, super heavyweight, the fifth and final bound of the evening. Haji Murtazaliev, a World Series of Boxing veteran. He was actually the last man to beat Filip Hugovic in this competition and has stepped in to fight him tonight in place of the 4-0 and Arslan Bek Makhmadov. So this is his season debut. Makhmadov, 19 points from his four fights, so his not fighting tonight will deal a big, big blow to his hopes of Olympic qualification via the individual rankings. Hergovic with 20 points from four fights. Joe Joyce, top of the moment of the British Lionhearts at 24 from five bouts. He'll be hoping for a Murtazaliev win. Or at least a split decision defeat. That would leave he and Hergovic level. Lenny Aparo of Cuba, second place with 21 points from five outings so far. Joyce beat him on the split decision. Hergovic will be expected to win this, but as mentioned, the psychological factor that could be at play here, coming with the fact that the last time he did lose in the World Series of Boxing, it's to the man who will be standing across the ring from him. Well, Hergovic has mentioned four fights, four wins, three by stoppage, unanimous decision against Poland, and then against USA, Argentina, and Venezuela, stopping all his opponents in the second round. Won the gold at the IEFA Youth World Boxing Championships in Baku, Azerbaijan in 2010. I was at the Excel Arena in London's Docklands to see him win the 2012 individual finals. He started boxing in WSB at just the age of 18. Twenty-one bouts he's had. Stanner Arlan, 25 across the five seasons of the competition. I think a lot of people are just waiting for Hergovic to turn over to the paid ranks. The World Series of Boxing will be keen to keep him, of course. Sauland, big promotional outfit based in Germany supporting Hergovic, I think it's fair to say. Murtaz Aliyev has got a real fighter's face. Murtaz Aliyev a southpaw, Hergovic into the orthodox stance. Smearing right hand from Murtaz Aliyev. Looked like it might have got a piece of the features of Hergovic there. He was just pulling his head away. Just holds out that left hand, Hergovic, just to try and measure the distance, which has been flicked away, patted away by Murtaz Aliyev. He launches in again behind a right hand. try and measure the distance for the right hand. Hergovic hasn't really managed to sneak one through so far. Significant height and reach advantage he's got against Murtaz Aliyev. He is a big tall man, 6'5", 6 6'6", 6 6 Hergovic. He was a sparring partner for David Hay actually when Hay was training for his fight against Tyson Fury, a fight that ultimately never happened, but you can see why you would use someone like Hergovic Fury even taller at six foot eight, six foot nine. And actually, it was a sparring session 
between Hay and Hergovic that saw Hay get cut, which postponed the fight the first time around. That was back at the end of September 2013. It was rescheduled for the next February, but never happened in the end. Klitschko now, mandatory challenger for... Fury, rather, mandatory challenger for Vladimir Klitschko's WBO belt. Murtazaliev looking to move in again behind the left hand to the body. Not a lot going on in this opening round so far. Just get the sense that Hurdu Hergovic possibly is biding his time. the feet there by Hergovic. The referee has stopped the fight here and the gloves have been taken off. Has Murtazaliev been disqualified? is really the only assumption, the only conclusion that can be reached here. Well, let's have a look at this. Fairly orthodox exchange there. Murtazaliev comes in behind a right hand. What we're looking for here really is an undue use of the head or something like that. And it's at that stage that the referee jumps in. Well, the referee dived in there and called the fight to a halt and awarded it to Filip Hergovic. And I couldn't see anything there, any reason whatsoever why he would have done that. Murtazaliev came flying across the ring, launching a kind of two-fisted assault, but at no point really was he deliberately moving the head towards Hergovic. And yet the fight has been stopped in the first round. Hergovic picks up a full five points. And the Stanner Arlands take the match by four points to one, but exactly why that has been stopped is a complete and utter mystery to me. There was no real complaint from Haji Murtazaliev either. So this clash of near rivals between the Astana Arlands of Kazakhstan and the Azerbaijan Baku Fires has finished in a convincing win for the home side. By four points, 2-1, they maintain their 100% record in the World Series of Boxing. And it has finished at the Track and Field Sport Complex in Shimkent. Astana Arlands of Kazakhstan, four. Azerbaijan Baku Fires, one.